know, I think it was really bonding for us. It was really fun. I mean, he had been, of course, a part of the, the first two, and he did small roles in the first two, but he also was just watching as we tried to get these films off the ground, which is this, you know, Herculean effort on an, on an indie. Um, but this is the first time we did something together, Soup to Nuts, that we sort of, we were involved with at every stage. And I think we both had a, um, a real sense of accomplishment at the end. You know, a lot of people said, it would be impossible to make this movie on this budget that, you know, there's too many locations, there's kids and babies that age, there's six years past, there's seasons in it, you're going to shoot in the dead of winter in how many days, for what amount of money? There are a million locations in it, you know, it's New York City, and everyone said it was impossible. So I think um, the fact that, that we were able to do it and do it with such a wonderful group of actors and got this great crew that, that I'm so grateful to, and, and um, it, it felt exciting to kind of share in that um, in that sense of accomplishment and I think we were both proud of it and and it brought us closer so I've done it three times now and and it feels um, it feels every time like when I've written these films um, I'm an actor first, so I sort of write from a place of, if I were playing this character, what would feel truthful here, or what would I say next? All of the parts, the, you know, whether they're boy parts or girl parts or old or young, you know, that's sort of how I've written dialogue or approached it. Um, so, no, I, I, I mean, I really love doing other people's stuff and other people's words, but, um, but this is fun, too. Yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like a... a, a Many of our friends with kids had kids in the last four or five years, so there has been a whole lot of people in my world and close people um, becoming parents. And just, it's been interesting to be sort of out of sync with your peer group and watching them just have this profound seismic life shift and identity shift and priority shift. And, um, and they all sort of said similar things to me. They all sort of talk about this intense love, this amazing, like, profound love that they've never known before. And they also honestly say it's also the hardest thing I've ever done. And it's no one, I didn't, I wasn't ready for that part. I knew that love would be intense and, and overwhelming and profound. But the challenge part, I think people don't talk about as much because maybe they think it's, they can't talk about it. And I was interested in finding an ensemble, you know, of characters to sort of, encapsulate or ruminate on, on those themes, that duality of the highest highs and the, you know, and real challenges too, and, and a group of friends and how this alternative family arrangement that um, my character and Adams enter into to have a friend as, as best, I mean, have a child as, as best friends and, you know, find true romance um, outside of that, you know, and how it would ripple through the friend group and how it would affect people and how some people would feel judged or they would judge us or they would sort of compare their situations and their life choices. And, and I feel like um, the choice we make sort of makes everybody look at themselves and, and, and look at their definitions of love and of family, of friendship, of, of attraction, all of those ideas. And that was sort of the kernel. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.